They turned the water cube into a three meter deep speedway of swimming. Over eight days, the best from the U.S. smashed 11 world records and claimed 31 Olympic medals. Day one was an eight medal day for Team USA. American swimmers took silver in the 4x100 freestyle relay, a team anchored by 41-year-old Dara Torres. And Michael Phelps put the rest of the swimming world on notice with gold number one in the 400 individual medley. I have eight races and I have to take one by one. That's how I have to do it and uh, that's, that's what I'm prepared to do. In an early scare for Phelps, the men's 100 freestyle relay proved to be one of the cube's craziest finishes. Swimming the anchor leg, 32-year-old Jason Lezak was nearly a body length behind at the final turn. But the American hugged the lane rope, drafting off the Frenchman to his right and powered to win on the very last stroke. The effort earned Phelps gold number two. Just being able to watch him and do what he does in the pool is simply phenomenal and it's uh, you know inspiring and I think it helps the rest of the team swim faster. A parade of golds began fittingly with Phelps. He blew away the competition in the 200 freestyle. A pair of golds in backstroke. Natalie Coughlin won the 100, becoming the first woman to ever repeat as Olympic champion in that event. On the men's side, Aaron Pearsall defended his Athens gold. My 100 back was spectacular. You know, I'll cherish that moment for the rest of my life. A double feature for Phelps, gold in the 200 butterfly and gold in the 800 free relay gave him the title of winningest Olympian ever. Meanwhile, American Katie Hoff, who was expected to turn in a Phelpsian performance, finished fourth in what would be her last shot at gold of these games. Hoff leaves Beijing with just one silver and two bronze medals. For someone who's won so many world championships, it's always a disappointment to lose in a world-class competition. Always. With Michael Phelps taking a day off from medal competition, Thursday in the water cube was a day for some of the rest of the world's best to shine. Swimmers from Japan, France, and China claimed golds. The Americans roared back to dominate day six. Phelps made it six for six with gold in the 200 individual medley. Ryan Lochte claimed his long-awaited first Olympic gold in the 200 backstroke. And Rebecca Sony swam to an upset win over Australian Liesl Jones in the 200 breaststroke. It felt great. It was, it was a huge goal of mine, and I couldn't believe it when it, it actually became reality. Well, I gotta tell you, I didn't think you, I didn't think he was gonna win. I thought it was over. I thought, I thought, I thought that was a silver medal. It's the smallest margin of victory in swimming. It's all that separated Phelps from Serbia's Milorad Kovic, and it sparked a pool deck controversy. Phelps won by one one hundredth of a second. A protest lodged by the Serbian delegation was quickly dismissed after an official review. Gold medal number seven. In a run at history, it's the one that was almost left behind. Sunday was Phelps' Beijing swan song. His coronation is the greatest swimmer the world has ever seen. His eighth gold medal of these games came in the 4x100 medley relay. Every moment that I've had so far in and out of the pool will be with me forever. I'm thankful everything turned out, you know, pretty much perfect. A perfect eight for eight. Phelps leaves the water cube not just as an Olympic champion, but as the greatest swimmer the world has ever known. Jason Bronis, the Associated Press, Beijing.